Hello, my name is Cora Amira. I'm going to teach you today a very simple set of exercises. This is perfect for beginner's yoga and the exercises are called Pawan Muktasana, series one. I'm not going to give you the um, Sanskrit names, I want to keep it very simple and really lovely for people who are first starting their journey with yoga. What Pawan Muktasana means is air releasing poses. So it gets all of the joints and the, um, the ligaments and the tendons nice and loose and supple. So it's really good for you to be able to do this. If you can't sit on the floor, please sit in a chair and make sure that you are practicing safe and that you have got your doctor's consent before you start. I don't have any mat today because you may be a complete beginner with no mat. So let's just start by sitting in a seater pose. So this means the legs are crossed. For some people, the legs might be out like this. And then for other people, you may want to go into a little bit more of a wide angle pose like this. Whatever feels comfortable for your back and that you haven't got your back rounded, try and bring the shoulders in and round and keep the spine as straight as possible. I have a wall behind me, so if you do struggle, get yourself near a wall and just place yourself there and allow the shoulders to sink back and the neck to sink back towards the wall as well. So we are going to start, I will remain with my bag to the wall. You don't need any, any to do anything before this, this series. So the first one is to breathe in point the toes and breathe out, bring them in towards the calves. Breathing in, pointing the toes, breathing out. Bring the toes as close to the calves as possible. Breathing in and breathing out, bring the toes towards the calves. We'll do every one of these for five. Breathing in and out, coming We'll do one more, breathing in and out. <laughs> when you practice this yourself, it is recommended you do at least 10 sets. Today we're doing five. The next one is circles, breathing in and out. What we do is always breathe in on the outward journey away from the body and breathe out coming back into the center. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and out. And we're doing this with full awareness. Breath in and out. And again, breathing in and out. So we're going to change direction. I may forget a count of five. <laughs> breathing in and out. So we're going in the opposite direction. Breathing in and out into the centre. Breath in and out. Breathing in and out. One more, breathing in and out. And then we're going to come in, relax the legs and the feet onto the floor, bringing them closer together. We're going to do what's called a window wiper, yeah? So just let the feet relax to the sides. So I'm taking some movements from the classical Pawan Muktasana and I'm making it a little bit more um, easy for you to understand. So there may be other series of movements in here. This is my version. <laughs> Perfect for beginners, people who've got arthritis, people who are stiff. Okay, so coming back in and just be aware of the feet. Be aware of the energy in the feet. It may be tingling or a bit warm. Now, if you can, we're going to do a little shake. So I want you to get just above the, uh, the bones, the, sit the, the uh, heel bones here. And if you can grab the ankle, if you can't do that, I want you to just do this and shake with the foot down. And if you can, shake the foot very, very gently, side to side. So give the foot a little shake out, then pop it down and see how that feels. We're gonna go on to the other foot now. So we're gonna come up, hold above the bones and then give the foot a little shake out. If you can't hold the foot or grasp the foot, just leave it down and shake it where it is. 
and then place that foot down. Okay, lovely. So we're going to come in now with the right, bending the right knee. And we're going to hold the thigh underneath, keeping the spine nice and straight, the other leg relaxed and flat. We're going to breathe in, straighten that leg, and breathing out, coming back in. Breathing in, and out. And you may hear popping, breathing in, and out. <laughs> you can hear a little bit with mine. <laughs> Breath in, and out. We'll do one more. Breathing in, and out and then releasing that leg down. So that is the knee bend, We're activating the knee, bringing the left knee in, taking yourself to the car of the thigh at the back. So holding the thigh, breathing in, straighten the leg and out, breathing in, straighten the leg and out. Three more, breathing in and out, breath in and out. And one more, breathing in and out. So that's the Janu knee bend. Janu means knee in Sanskrit. So next we're going to come, and if you still feel comfortable, stay with the wall. And then we're gonna bring the feet together into Titaliasana, the butterfly. So with this one, we're trying to keep the spine as straight as possible. And bring the heels as much into the groin area as possible without rounding the back. So when we've got this, you can very gently flap up and down. So if you struggle with the flap, breath is normal, just relax through on the breath. What you can do is manually do this. So you hold the knees and you just bring the knees up and down. And this softens the bottom of the spine, works the spine Keep breathing as you do this. And then gently let the legs come out and give them a little shake up and down. Lovely. So we're going to come in to cross-legged or legs out or legs wide angle, whichever one, out, wide angle is good for you. And then we're going to lift up through the spine, relax the shoulders and then we're going to draw a circle. So holding onto the knees, breathing in and out, we're going to draw a nice little circle, horizontal circle with the rib cage, breathing in forward and out to the back, breathing in and out, activating the middle of the spine, breathing in and out, the lungs, the heart, the diaphragm and let the breath come in and out through the nose. We'll do one more and when you're ready, change in direction, working at your own pace. Breathing in and out, really nice and softly, lifting up through the spine. Breath in and out. Breathing in and out. We'll do another one. Breathing in and out, then returning back to the centre. So that's a nice Sufi circle that I know it has. This next one is called Riding the Camel. So we breathe in and out. These are not part of the classic Puan Muktasana, breathing in and out, but these are really, really good to get the spine flexing without going into a full asana. So we're gently breathing in and out. Breathing in, coming forward and out, going back. Keeping the spine lifted, the neck nice and straight. Breathing in and out. Breathing in forward and out to the back. We'll do two more of these, breathing in and out. Last one, breathing in and out. So just be aware, sitting there for a moment, if your legs get stiff at any time, just take them out and give them a shake. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, when you first start this, this vinyasa, this dance, this series of movements, you will probably get aching legs. So just give them a really good move around whenever you need to. So we're going to come up onto the shoulders and carry on with classic Pawan Muttasana. So the hands go onto the shoulders, breathing in and out. Breath in and out. Number three, breathing in and out. And again, breath in and out. Another one, breathing in and out. And then we're going to bring the, the arms outward, breathe in. In and out. Breath in and out. This is the elbow bend. Breathing in and out. And then bringing our hands into fists and we're going to circle. Breath in and out. Breathing in and out. The forearm exercise. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Breath in and out. Breathing in and out. And then bringing the hands in, give them a little shake and just see how that feels through the arms and the wrists and the hands, the activation. So we're going to go with the neck exercises next. So you take breath in. Turn to any side and on out breath, coming back into the center. On out breath, breathing in. Turn the head and on out breath, coming back to center. Breathing in. And on out breath, coming back to center. Breath in. And on out breath, coming back to center. Breathing in. Breathing in and on out breath coming back to centre. We'll do one more set of these. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Finishing your last one now. Breath in and out. Coming into the heart centre with a namaste. And thanking yourself for giving yourself the time for this practice today. Taking the hands and the fingers down to the floor and connecting with the earth. Thanking the earth for the water you drink, the food you receive, the air you breathe in, the physical items that you have and for allowing yourself to access and have this beautiful practice today, for us to have this practice today together. Coming in, down to the earth, thanking the earth, being aware of the physical body, coming into the heart space, thanking yourself from heart space for having this practice. Coming up, Feel it assimilating into the centre of wisdom and intuition. And then going up to the heaven, stretching up. Bring that beautiful energy of the stars, the sun and the moon, down into the heart. Thank you. Namaste. This, uh, this series will not include any breath work, any further meditation or any pranayama, the breath work, or any mantra. I have got lots of other beautiful videos, so please check out my other videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming along and doing some Pawan Muktasana with me and basic yoga. I will be releasing more videos, so please do like the videos, share the videos. Um, you can visit me on my website, which is kara-amira.co.uk. I have got and eventually will be getting other videos on there for sale. You can also donate to support this beautiful work that I'm doing, giving you these lovely little free videos. 
uh, <laughs> and thank you very much for tuning in and supporting me. Thank you. Namaste. Aho.